Soap is a pretty magical substance. Pretty much anything you can think of that needs washing can be washed with soap. And as you may have experienced, soap does a better job washing than just water because of its incredible chemical properties. But what are these chemical properties? And today we're also going to explore the dark side of soap. So from a basic standpoint, the reason that soap does such a good job at cleaning things, especially clothes in this case, is because it breaks the surface tension, or at least makes the surface tension lower and therefore the water can penetrate more surfaces. If you don't know what surface tension is, that's okay. It's what makes water want to be a sphere if it's in zero gravity. Basically, the water wants to stick to itself more than it wants to stick to the air and therefore it forms something with as little surface area as possible. In zero gravity, that is a sphere. Now the surface tension of water is actually quite significant. You can float small objects on top of water if the surface tension is enough. But if you break the surface tension, they will sink to the bottom. This is because the surface tension of the water has gone down, and therefore there's not as much of a barrier between the air and the water that will let the pepper float there on top of the water. This concept is what allows water to penetrate into clothing rather than just staying on the outside of it. But why does the soap break the surface tension? That's the question that we're trying to answer and that's the question that we will answer and that will answer why does soap clean so well. Soap is a pretty interesting molecule. One side is extremely attracted to water. It's hydrophilic, which means it wants to stick to water. The other side is hydrophobic, which means it does not want to be in contact with water. So why does soap clean much better than water does? Well, it's the same property that breaks surface tension. It's that one side of the soap molecule is hydrophobic and the other side of the molecule is hydrophilic. If soap is introduced into water, it lowers the surface tension, but also the hydrophilic ends stick to the water itself. But if you introduce a third thing, either grease or bacteria, the hydrophobic ends want to stick to that. So if I'm washing my hands and I have some particle on them, I wet my hands, which does not take the particle away because that is sticking to my skin. But when I introduce soap, the hydrophobic ends want to stick to whatever's stuck to my hands and they stick more than they're stuck to my hands so they can pull it away. The final ingredient though is that the water wants to stick to the hydrophilic ends of the soap molecule and then it rinses it away. Once the grease or bacteria has been pulled away from my hands, more soap molecules form a bubble basically around whatever it's washing away and therefore whatever just came off of my hands doesn't get stuck going down the drain and can go to a wastewater treatment plant where it can be clean. Now this is great and all but there's a darker side to soap that we don't necessarily hear about all the time. The villain of this story is soap that kills bacteria. Interestingly enough, antibacterial soap does more harm than good. Regular soap pulls bacteria away from your hands and washes them down the drain. Antibacterial soap kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria that are on your hands. But there's still 0.1% of the bacteria left. And there's a reason that those bacteria survived the antibacterial soap. Why'd they survive? Because they are stronger bacteria than the rest of them. Some genetic mutation has made it more difficult for sterilizing solutions to kill those bacteria. Having only the strongest bacteria on your hands survive, paired with years and years of continuation of using antibacterial hand soap, will lead to super bacteria, which are bacteria that will not be killed by your antibacterial hand soap. Now there's no evidence that this is currently happening and that there are super bacteria going around because of antibacterial hand soap, but there are super bugs that are resistant to antibiotics in general. There are certain bacteria that used to be able to be treated with penicillin. However, they are not able to be treated that way anymore. This is because they've been treated with penicillin too much and the strongest of them survive. Then as a species, they generally get stronger and are unable to be killed by antibiotics. This forms a vicious cycle. Bacteria are getting stronger, our antibacterial products are getting stronger, and so the bacteria get stronger, so our medicine needs to get stronger, and we continue forever. But bacteria always seem to be one step ahead of us. So if you choose to buy antibacterial soap, I don't blame you for it because you maybe didn't know the sad truth that antibacterial soap is not good in the long run. However, 
you can start buying normal soap that'll clean your hands just as well, you just need to wash for longer. In fact, washing for 15 seconds takes away about 90% of the bacteria on your hands. Washing for double that time, 30 seconds, takes away 99.9%. .9%. You might be hesitant to switch over to a hand soap that is not going to kill germs, it's just going to wash them away. But in the long run, it will be beneficial for the entirety of the human race. Because when you're using standard hand soap, you're not creating bacteria that are resistant to it. When you're using antibacterial soap, you are. So if you're gonna take one thing away from this video, it's this. Soap uses molecules that are one half hydrophilic and one half hydrophobic to clean your hands and clothes better. It helps break the surface tension and it also helps pull grease, grime, and bacteria away from your hands. Secondly, okay, there is another thing that you're gonna take away from this video. Antibacterial soap is maybe good for killing bacteria and keeping your hands fairly sterile, but in the long run, it's going to create bacteria that will not be killed by the soap. So if you're really only going to take one thing away from this video, it's this. Don't use antibacterial soap if you can help it. Subscribe to get notified of when I post future content. That's all I have to say for you right now. Thanks for watching.